What's up, YouTube? Just wanted to make a quick video. I, I was watching Robert Morris on the TV. He was talking about things. And uh, my book's going good. It's My next second book is uh, coming along. God, I, I get stuff at 3 in the morning, 5 in the morning, just all kind of odd times. I had my uh, lantern <laughs> last night. I'll get stuff, I'll be sleeping and, and something will come to me that I have to write down. So I uh, I do that and uh, put it under the covers. I don't wake nobody up. But uh, when uh, he, Robert Morris was talking about the authority of God. And now the only way that I know of biblically you get that authority is Again, it goes back to the born-again message. You have to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Now, that's in the initial authority because his name gets stamped on you. like It's stamped. It's like a seal, like a signet ring, like a, like king, old kings would do back in the day for authority. And um, it's a spiritual authority where the demons recognize it. So if, you, if you're baptized in Jesus' name, you walk into a room. And uh, if there's uh, spirits, they're going to... They're going to... It's not because of you. It's because you obeyed the baptism of the water. Okay? John Baptist foreran that. Okay? Now, he doesn't understand that. Okay? Um, now, I'm not going to get into that. I was going to talk about something else, but... Uh, so that's all. It's just a quick video. Now there, there's also the. I already talked about the water. So talking about the spirit, the, the spirit part of being born again, or the baptism of the Holy Ghost, or the baptism of fire, the speaking evidence of speaking in new tongues, the you know the Acts two, the Acts eight, the Acts nineteen experiences, all all the through the whole Bible, but. That makes you born again, okay? The power comes from the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Again, it's not us. It's God in us, okay? So that's why it's so important. You you have to stick with the patterns of the Scriptures to get biblically born again. And I know a lot of these preachers, I, I watch them all the time. Who's ever on, uh, this is a Daystar channel, and they, they've got new ones every day. But, you know, I watch these guys, I listen I write them notes I, on uh, internet and uh, send them videos, but they're missing it, folks. That's why it's important to get biblically born again, because there's so many things, there's so many dynamics going on. There's no power and authority. He was just talking about, uh, he, he was going to go cast the devil out, a real live devil, in a person. And, uh, well, there was a little lady in there that had cast it out. Well, she was probably born again. I don't know anybody. I'm making a video, sorry, that um, can cast the devil out without the power and authority of God working in them. And like I said, you get the authority from the name of Jesus in baptism, the proper baptism, no sprinkling. And you get the power through the Holy Ghost. And she just said, come out of, come out of her in Jesus' name. That's all the lady did, and the devils got cast out. Now, there could have been an issue like the sons of Sceva. They tried to cast devils out. It's recorded in the New Testament, somewhere in Acts. And what had happened, they had the devil left, and then they jumped on them. Why? Because the sons of Sceva were not born again. The devils did not recognize the authority. And so they left. They didn't have to, but they went into them. And they, they, the Bible says they took off running and ripping their clothes off screaming like madmen. Well, yeah. So you can't play with this stuff. Once you're born again biblically, you don't have to worry about devils. Okay? You've got the power and authority. You've got it when you have to deal with them. Now, with, with yourself, you got to, you know... Watch what, you don't want to be practicing sin because that's going to, you know, open doors. And that's something different. That's a, excuse me, but if if you have weaknesses like we all do, yeah, those are, 
them doors get cracked open. That's that. Thank God for repentance because that slams them shut. Okay, so that's all. The power and authority of God is that's one of the functions, one of the reasons we get born again biblically. Not how the numbskulls say, I believe, and now I'm... No, 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 no. Paul in Acts 19 said, Have you got the Holy Ghost since you believed? See? So you got you got to really stick with the Scriptures, Paul. And right before Paul said that, he said, How were you baptized? He had to rebaptize them in Jesus' name. He put his hands on them. And they got the gift of the Holy Ghost, and the tongues started speaking out of them. That's the sign that you got the Holy Ghost, Okay? That's being biblically born again of the water and spirit, okay? So that's all. God bless you. Power and authority of God. That's how you get it. God bless you.